Now we're going to go ahead and clean up the uh, uh, repair area with some alcohol. Don't forget to uh, clean up your fingertips before you touch all this because your finger has oils on it and I already did that. And then we're going to go ahead and clean up the back of the, uh, the new copper plug sheet I'm going to put on there. Laminate, whatever you want to call it. And let it dry. Okay. And then we're going to uh, mix up some epoxy here. I've already put a little bit on the uh, technical glass down here. Let's see if I can get it to focus. And I like to use, uh, let me get this light up here. I like to use just a, a flat blade and turn it around. This is, uh, I believe, like eight hour epoxy or something. And this is so small. I mean, there's almost no epoxy on this this thing at all here and mix it up really good uh, one thing that makes epoxy cure a little bit quicker is some heat so after you get everything how you want it if you put a little bit of heat on on the board and let it sit under the clamps uh, it'll cure quicker so I don't recommend you know, like five minute epoxy and stuff like that because you want to be able to move it around a little bit and and get it uh, i think 30 minute if you've got some experience doing it it would be fine or some eight hour like this uh, typically all of them take about 24 hours to really get a good cure so i'm going to call that good there and then i'm going to uh, show you how to apply it we're going to use this right here and what we'll do is we'll took this in here and we'll mix a little bit and we'll barely wipe it on the on the board and i'll show that to you all right, now I got to uh, file the end of this off a little bit. I forgot to take some off. So I uh, just use a flat file, and I use like a right angle on my fingertips to hold it still while I do it, <laughs> provided I don't drop it. So let me get that done real quick. I got it all flattened out. Now I'm going to go ahead and put some epoxy on the uh, patch area. Now I'm going to grab a little bit of epoxy here and just kind of smear it around here and you don't want to go up to the edges because when you put the compression on it uh, and compress this it'll actually go out to the edges and you don't want it to get up in this area if it does usually the the heat from the uh, the solder will push it aside and it'll still adhere but you don't want it up there too much all right now the amount of epoxy you put on here is extremely extremely thin and very light this is probably more than enough to do the whole area and I'll have to probably take some of it back off. So let me get this all smeared out over here and, and set up for you. Alright, I got a little bit off to the side over here and I'm going to take care of that. Uh, basically what you do is you roll up a piece of tissue paper or tech wipe and put some alcohol on it and you wipe away from where you don't want it. And roll it over. And again, wipe away. There we go, and that should work. Then you can use your uh, tool to push some back over there where it got wiped off. And this is about as much epoxy as you need right here. I mean, this could even be probably a little bit less because when it squishes down, trust me, it will squish out. What I'll probably do here, and I, I'm going to go ahead and do it, is I'm going to get one of these tech wipes and I'm actually going to take some of it off and the way I'm going to take it off I'm going to put a tech wipe over it and just I'm not going to squish side to side I'm just going to put my hand on there and blot it like this and then peel straight up like that and that will take uh, some of it off looks like I could probably take a little bit more off a little bit more there okay and then I'm going to pull up and that should be enough now I can take my plug and lay it in there and put the eyelets in it and uh, set the eyelets, clamp it down, and then let it dry. So let's let's put this on here. There we go. And you don't have to worry about the uh, epoxy getting in the holes because there's no internal visas. If there was, then then you would. So set that in there like that. There we go. Let's get the eyelets in it. And go find them here. They're on the board here somewhere on the desk, I should say. Okay, I got them. So I'll hold this down so it doesn't go anywhere and stick it in the hole okay get in there come on I gotta find out where it's at there it is Bing. 
All right, now I can go get the other one. And stick it in the hole. It looks like it might have to come back this way just a little bit. There it is. All right. Okay, now I'm going to pick up the board, and I'm going to hold my finger on these, and then I'm going to use this flare tool. I'm going to turn the board over and flare the back side a little bit. Uh, since I don't have two hands or a tripod, I'll just give you a, a brief here. There you go. Now I'll use that tool and flare them out a little bit. I'll show you after I get it flared. I just noticed a small error that I did. And that is I... I forgot to clean the, uh, the area around where the the big plug is coming through so that when I fold it over it will uh, solder to the back side so let me get that real quick and all I'm going to do is just use my exacto blade there to rough it up and get down to the copper so let me do that real quick and reset that eyelet all right I clean the copper around it and, and I flared it out with the tool my fingernail on the other side of each one now I'm going to go ahead and flatten them out uh, using my uh, my back support or flare tool support and stick it on there like that and you, uh, you stick that stick that on the uh, eyelet on the opposite side to support it and then you flare this and flatten it okay that's just kind of how it sits on there holds that eyelet there all right then you use your uh, flare tool here this one's not a steep angle actually a little more flatter than this one this one is highly pointed I usually start with this and wobble it around like this in the hole go like that and then I use this one to flare it out some more and then I use my flat punch to flatten it out okay I've pretty much flattened it out already but this is what I do just gently and then increase the pressure as it goes further down and then you can use this tool to to finish flattening it out. I don't know if I can do it on here one handed. So, let me finish it off. Okay I got them flat. Uh, this one on the bottom right, the big one, was actually a flare tool. And see how it sticks into that uh, area where the copper is not? Well you use your blade uh, right here uh, to go ahead and cut that. Now we can go ahead and uh, clamp them down. When we're done clamping, then we'll go ahead and epoxy them. Or uh, not epoxy them, solder them. Put it back under the microscope real quick so you could just get a, a view of that. You can see uh, where I flared this one out. You can see where it's got a little bit of roughness around the edge. That's still fine. It's not optimum, but it's fine. You can see where I've trimmed this right here. I'll probably trim that a little bit more. And then we can go ahead and flux it and solder it. All right. There's the other side. It looks like it laid down pretty good. So I got off a little bit right here, but it'll be fine. I'll, I'll end up trimming this. But it's, you know, it's still within the, the pad area out here, so that'll be good. All right, getting ready to clamp it down. Uh, this will go on top of that. This will go on top of the plastic, and this will go on that, and then the clamp will hold it this will go on the bottom and then this piece right here will go on the underneath that and that'll go on the clamp i guess i could say the clamp will go on this way it doesn't really matter as long as it gets done so let me get that set up and i'll show it to you all right let's get our plastic on here get our foam on there Get our plate on there, and then we'll do the opposite. We'll do the opposite side while we hold this down. Then we'll have to squish it together to make sure the clamp fits on it. All right, got it all clamped down. That's a real booger to get on there too. But anyways, there it is. Now I gotta let it sit for uh, approximately 24 hours and solder everything up. Okay, I put some lights on it, and I'll let that sit on there for several hours. Uh, normally it would take about 24 hours, but with heating up the board and everything, I might even put the heat gun on it and cook it a little bit at, uh, you know, about 100, 150 degrees. And maybe in about three hours it should be done and then I can finish it up. But uh, anyways, until that's done and it's cured, I can't really do anything more with this other than let it sit. 
Uh, I think I mentioned in a video that I might have to take this out in order to do the scraping and eventually I did. So I took two capacitors out and cleaned everything up. 